How's it going everyone and welcome to our second Flesh and Blood Everfest booster box opening. We're just gonna get right on into it. I'll shout out the sponsors as we go. You know, you can check out my channel Fireball affiliate link if you would like to pick up a booster box of Everfest using the code Rogue goes and supports me. But you know what? You can also go to redzonerogue.com and buy some of our sweet, sweet play mats and accessories. But let's just open up some Everfest. Uh, all the rest of the Everfest, Everfest booster box openings, by the way, are gonna be done kind of in the style. I have so many to get through. And uh, those will be that first one that has the, the proper intro. All the other ones, we're just gonna get right into the packaroos. We have an Outland Skirmish. Once again, I really love the, the flavor on that. Love, love, love the art on this card. Probably one of my favorite arts in the entire set. Like seriously, it's so good. This whole pack is just dank for art, dude. Yo, we got a foil one too, look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so good. We have a Talisman of Cremation and then a Release the Tension, amazing card. Fantastic card. So, this is the third box actually from this case. I opened up the second one over on Channel Fireball. You can go check that out, see what we got. Um, we did get a cold foil, we did get an extended art, which is pretty good. I would say the box was pretty good. Not crazy, but pretty good. So you should go check it out. Hopefully this box will be crazy though. We got bad beats. Not bad beats yet, but you know, we got Amulet of Ignition and a T-Bone. Um, my luck for Everfest has been very average so far. None of my boxes have been crazy. I've not been, you know, one of those people who you see posting on Facebook or Twitter who just have like, you know, two, two uh, fabled cards and like three skull caps or whatever. We have a Runeblood Incantation, followed by a Life of the Party, and a Hundred Wins. <laughs> I was gonna make a really bad joke with a Hundred Wins, man. <laughs> I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do it. A Hundred Wins is what you get when you eat Taco Bell exclusively for a week. <laughs> that's, that's what you get. You get a Hundred Wins, and then probably also Coma and Death. We have a Drowning Dire, also known as Drowning Pool, also known as the area where you fight the Lost Sinner in uh, Dark Souls 2. We also have a uh, tan buff Tannin, and then a uh, Hundred Wings. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, it's it's week week long Taco Bell binge. That's that's what Hundred Hundred Wings is. Oh no. <laughs> macho Macho Grande. We have a <laughs> Read the Glide tab. We have a Veiled Intentions. It's hidden in another. Macho, macho grande. We have a potion of seeing. Let's see that, see that potion. I like the art on that one. And then a, ooh, dissolution sphere. Nice, I don't think I've gotten one of these yet. Really like the art on that card. It is great. Is that the one that prevents the damage? Yeah, if your hero is dealt exactly one damage, you prevent it. Pretty good against a few different things. You know, good against rune chance, but also good against other stuff. <laughs> Other stuff too. Uh, we got a Timekeeper's Whim Fatigue Shot. Love the art on that one. We got a Smashing Good Time and then a Dalen Max Special. I'm coming up with nicknames for all these, by the way. By the time I'm done opening up all my 20 something boxes, it's just gonna be all nicknames. <laughs> that's that's what it's gonna be. Nick, Nick Knack, name a, name a whack. I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know. I don't even know. We have a uh, In the Swing, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, foil, or no, just regular fire breathing, but still cool, I like this card. Ooh, double, double majestic pack. You love to see it. Fire breathing and then the Benji specialization. Yo, that was that was a sick pack actually. I'll take it. That Benji specialization is real good. I'll, t I'll tell you what, Bobby. <laughs> We got Benji and Benji accessories. I can't do a, I can't do a Hank Hill, man. My my voice isn't like that. Ooh, gorgeous, freaking gorgeous passing mirage. Love it. Love the art on that one. Ooh, and a and a cold foil, and then a majestic. Ah, high roller. All right, so beautiful, beautiful card here. And then we have a cold foil ear bell. This bell is creepy. It's got ears on it. I will mention that every single time I pull pull this card because it's creepy. It looks, I keep saying it, but it looks like an item you'd find in Bloodborne, right? Like a bell with like weird ears, but in Bloodborne, obviously it would it would have eyes, 
instead. I feel like I just said this. Did I just say this? I think I just said this. Either way, it doesn't make it any less true. We have another fatigue shot payload. Rotary Ram. Nice foiling. Emule of Haven Call. And then a Thunder. Quick. All right, we got a, we're, we're working on this box. I think it's all right. We still got hopes, hopes and a dream for maybe any legendary at all. We'll see. They're pretty hard to pull, right? So, I, ooh, Blade Runner. Yo, it's definitely not a, got another creepy, creepy Bloodborne ears. It's definitely not like a one per case kind of deal because it's the same as like Crucible of War, right? Because you didn't get a Shiana every case. And that's very much the same here. You don't get a legendary in every single case. You have a slightly higher chance than crew because there are three legendaries. And I think some of them might have a higher drop chance because they're in the carnival slot. But other than, ooh, full art. Pick a card, any card. Nice. And then pick a card, any card. Nice. All right, cool. I will take, I will take that. That's a, that's a fun one. I, I classify... This card as a as a fun one. This is one that I will be playing in Ultimate Pit Fight and you know other casual formats like that. I like the card, I like it. I like it. Um, not as much as I'd like a, a full art reverse cold foil Bravo, which is definitely not in this pack because you can kind of tell because the reverse nature of it makes it so you can kind of see it. But in any case, ooh. Yo, Foil Valda, I will take this. Though I did just buy a Cold Foil Valda, but I'll, I will still take this as a Rainbow Foil Valda Bright Axe. This is the next hero I'm building for Ultimate Pit Fight, by the way. And uh, I think she's awesome. I think it's actually one of my favorite decks that I've, that I've ever built in Flesh and Blood, period. I know it's weird because it's a Guardian deck, but it is so much fun. And I just can't wait, I cannot wait to play it in this Ultimate Pit Fight game that we're going to have coming up. I think it's going to be an absolute blast. And uh, I think I'm going to have a ton of fun, and I think you're going to have a ton of fun watching it. We have Payload, followed by a Potion of Luck, a card that will be featured heavily in that deck, actually. Potion of Luck is kind of the nuts in Volda with uh, the Earth Lore, Earth Lore Bounty. I mean, it's nuts with Earth Lore Bounty in general. But in a Valda deck where you're just trying to get a bunch of Seismic Surge tokens, well, well, well. Speaking of which, I need an Earthlore Bounty. Yo, where are my Earthlore Bounties at? <laughs> Give me my Earthlore Bounties. We have Outland Skirmish, we have a Talisman of Warfare, and then a beautiful Passing Mirage. It's a gorgeous card. Um, yes. I... I'll be happy with another cold foil. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty greedy, right? But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask for one. We have a bear fangs with cool artwork. Oh, yes! Oh, you ask and ye, she, ye shall receive. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is a cold foil bastion of Eisenloff. We have the stalagmite. The Ice Guardian equipment, awesome. Super awesome. And then we also just randomly got another Majestic in the pack too, the Winds of Eternity. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> I will take it. I will freaking take it, nice. That is our first Legendary. First Legendary down, one more to go. I don't really need another Skull Cap, I'll take it. But I, I just want a play set, that's my goal. I want a play set of all the stuff, so. Mostly, I just I just want the Fable. I know everyone wants it, but I want it to play it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna shuffle it up and play it in my Valda deck. I'm, I, that's why I need it. That's why I need it. Um, so, we'll see. Ooh, Foil Majestic Rolling Thunder. That's kind of nice. I will play this in KO, followed by a Pick Any card, and then a T-Bone. This box is on fire, by the way. This box is like, the best, this is the best Everfax box I've gotten so far um, by like a, a wide margin. Cause we got like Foil Majestic, Cold Foil, two Foil Majestics, um, got an Extended Art and a Legendary and a Legendary. Very, very cool. So I'm very happy with this box. 
a good box. I mean, could be better. We could pull, ooh, Arcane Lantern. That's pretty hard to pull. Ooh, Aether Wildfire. This is a great pack. I don't think I've pulled one of these yet. I, I need, I need these. Nice. Uh, that Arcane Lantern's like really hard to pull actually. I think I pulled like, this is my seventh box. I pulled one? It's my second one in seven boxes. So yeah, not easy. Not easy, not peasy, not lemon squeezy. Gorgeous freaking haze binding. Talisman of Beetlejuice and then Emeritus Scolding. Yes. <laughs> well, well then. Um, I, I like it. I like it. This box. It's a pretty good. And then maybe we'll get even better. I've not pulled a single Bravo yet. I would like to pull a single Bravo. He's the only hero I haven't pulled yet from the set. So, ooh, red fatigue shot will see use in my decks. Life of the party. Ooh, Dreadboar, yo, <laughs> let's go. Now I have a regular Dreadboar to go with the Coldfoil one that I got. Uh, if you didn't know, Dreadboar was my own spoiler card. I, I really like how my video turned out, but then I saw DM Armadas and Dead Summer Arts, and I was like, theirs is better. <laughs> theirs is so much better. And uh, gave me a lot of motivation for the next spoiler season to do even better. And that, that's what I hope to do. Hope to step it up a bit. So we'll see, we have some twin sisters followed by a potion of eyeballs and then a thunder. Potion of eyeballs, that is definitely but a Bloodborne thing, right? It's, it's gotta be. I don't know why I'm talking about Bloodborne so much. Yo, you know what? You know what FromSoft should do? Me as a big time game publisher, uh, they should make Bloodborne too, right? Who Who's gonna say no to that? Who's gonna be like, nah, I don't want no Bloodborne 2. Everyone's like, yes, please give me Bloodborne 2. We have a Talisman of Balance, sweet card for multiplayer, and then a Thunder Quake. Got some packs left. Box yeeted to the ground. Um, yeah, this box is out of control. Well, okay, it's, it's fairly out of control. It's not reined in, but it's also not like buck wild. It's, it's a little out of control. <laughs> That's what this box is. Um, Fully out of control would be pulling the Fabled. Ah, oh, boo. Uh, or Majestic. Ah, oh, yo, we did get a Majestic. Swing big, let's go. How many Majestics have we pulled in this box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty good. Two of them are foil, which is also pretty good because I've been opening up boxes with like one Majestic foil or none and like nothing else, so. I'll take it. I will take it. We have a wax on and then smashing good time. You know, the funniest part about wax on is I know it's a reference to Karate Kid, but I remember it from Ninja Turtles referencing Karate Kid. <laughs> That's what I remember wax on. Uh, <laughs> Ninja Turtles referencing Karate Kid. It's like two layers of referencing there. But that's what I remember Wax On from. So I'm just gonna call that, I'm gonna call that Ninja, something, something to do with Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Even bigger than that. And then we have a Fabled. Nah, got Tan and Grace and then 100 wins. Uh, yeah, that was a sick box. Um, yeah, sick level off the charts. Yes, yeah, so we got this uh, Bastion. It's pretty good condition too. No nicks or, nicks or bruises or cuts or anything. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Really happy with this box. Finally got a legendary from this set. We got our fingers crossed for the Fabled. We have one more box from this case and then a bunch more cases whenever they arrive. Like four more cases, four and a half more. Eh, about three more, let's say. I have some going to patrons, but stay tuned for more Flesh and Blood. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.